Look, very simply, Eastern Congo, as I found, was one of the most damaged places in the world. They, they killed uh, eight of my children, of my, my, my sons. And I thought if there's ever a place that needed assistance, this is it. At least I can start by bringing some attention to this. And once I did that, I really started researching more deeply into the issues that was going on and discovered that there was more that I could do. How's it going? How's business? Business equal and decapier. I came up with uh, an organization that did community based grant making and advocacy, you know, talking to policymakers in the United States to use diplomacy in ways that will make life better for the people of Congo. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. When you have problems on the scale of what's happened in Eastern Congo, the only way to repair that uh, is not with some giant singular grand solution, but rather brick by brick by brick. And it's the Congolese who are doing that and we're just there to witness and to admire. It's important for me to try my hand at philanthropy because I wanna leave behind a record of someone who did more than just gobble up stuff for themselves. I realized that a life lived just for yourself is, is not much of a life. There's no guarantee that when you set out to change the world that you'll be in any way successful. Except that it's absolutely guaranteed that you'll change yourself. And um, that I have found to be true.